Hi, welcome to Vanita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a tasty batch of Duchess potatoes. Now if you're like us and you love mashed potatoes, you are going to be over the moon with these Duchess potatoes because it's a spin-off that with a few extra ingredients, of course you probably got it already in your home. So if this recipe interests you today, stick around and let's get started. So first off, one of the main ingredients of course in this is potatoes. I got six medium potatoes cut here in uh, I guess cubes and I got them peeled and put in there and cooked. So what we're going to do is drain off the liquid. I'm going to keep some of the liquid for making gravy. So then toss all of your potatoes into a bowl and what we're going to do first is mash it. So just with your handheld masher or whichever way you want to mash them I'm going to say Mash it lightly like this. Pour in a quarter of a cup of melted butter, leaving just a small amount for putting over the top of our Dutch's potatoes when they are made. And one clove of garlic. And press it on into the mixture. So I just put one clove of garlic in there, but if you're a garlic lover, you can add more because it's up to you. You're the one that's going to be making and eating those. So now we're going to put this to the side and get our eggs. So now what we need here is two egg yolks. We don't need the whites. We can keep them. If you want to, you could use that for uh, dusting the top of the uh, Dutch's potatoes after or you can dust them with some butter whichever works for you whoops it doesn't matter about that just as long as I only got the yolks there I'm gonna move this to the side to use later so we're gonna whisk those yolks and pour it into a quarter of cup of um, I'm using evaporated milk and you can also use um, a cream just an ordinary cream that you would use for your coffee. And then you're going to toss it on in with the mashed potatoes and get that mixing quick because we don't want that to start cooking there. So mix this in, like I was saying, mix it in nice and fast so that you're not cooking that egg too quick in that, in with your warm or hot potato. Now before I had said cut up your potatoes, uh, peel them, mash and put them into your um, pan without water and then put about a half a teaspoonful of sea salt, of salt of choice, while it's cooking. Now that's all we need to do there. And after we got it all mixed together we're going to add in there uh, a half a teaspoonful of sea salt again so it's a full teaspoonful all in total but a half while you're boiling your potatoes and a half when you got it mashed. A half a teaspoonful of pepper black or white pepper and a half of cup of finely grained uh, grated uh, parmesan cheese. Toss it all in together. So now you're gonna mix all of this in together so those ingredients you're mixing it now with the potatoes. So now this recipe we enjoy having um, when we're having a special occasion. Probably like we got cooked there a nice roast of prime rib, maybe a chicken roasted, and we want to add these delicate little Dutchess potatoes to have with them. They're great for potlucks too if you want to take it to a work event and it makes for a nice a nice meal to go with that. So keep mixing the potatoes until you see it's getting creamed and a little thick. This is a really good little workout too I must say. You're just 
trying to mix all these together. So this is it, nice and thick. You see that it's not running off your spoon. It's perfect. You need your uh, self air um, a bag for decorating. It's just a white uh, bag that you would use for decorating your cakes and a big top that's shaped like a star and just push it all the way to the bottom. And then you're going to pipette in, put it, I, like scoop in there, not pipette, into your piping bag is what it is. So you scoop up nice big alpings and pop it on into the bag. After you got half of the potatoes into the bag, you just get it all the way down to the tip and squirt it a little out first to let you know that um, that it's working good. Get yourself a baking pan with a piece of parchment paper and then what you're going to do, you're going to make about a one and a half inch um, round. It's going to take a little bit here now just to, to get it started. Hang on now. Round disc. Got a couple of bubbles there. Let me just get that out. Like this. And then a little point. Like that. That's all you need to do. So make sure that they're about a half inch apart and probably an inch and a half in size. About the size of a small egg you could make them. And just go round, fill the inside, pop up and make a little little tip on it and keep doing that. You can have them bigger if you want it, those little Dutch's potato. It's up to you, but I like it this size. And then there it goes a long ways. So tasty. So you keep doing this until they're all made. And then what you can do, you can reinforce them. Go back around if you want to. If you want to make a little bit more, then uh, continue on in the tray or you can go back around and any one that you see that don't have enough on there just top it up go around and top it up just to make it uh, nice and pretty and that's all you need to do so pretty much now with the probably tablespoon full of melted butter and the egg white just toss it in together stirring it around you could use all egg white you could use all butter, that's up to you, for just dusting the top of these tasty little Dutch Dutch's potatoes. Just go around and give it all a little drizzle and that'll help it get a nice golden brown or a light golden brown. I don't like it really brown because I like to see that potato look. Now I'm gonna tell you how long you need to bake these for. So I think I pretty much got all of them dusted. And what I did as well, sprinkled them with a little bit of parsley over the top, just flaked parsley. Um, you can use fresh or dried, that's fine. So what we're going to do now is put these tasty little Dutch's potatoes in the preheated oven. And we're going to set it for about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it into your middle rack and then set the timer for 20 minutes and when they're a light golden brown on the bottom and a little on the top they're ready i'll show you what it looks like when it comes out now our little duchess potatoes are baked mm, now let's take them to the counter and have a sample look at those delicious little Dutch's potato. I'm going to put a couple here on my plate. I took my little little uh, spatula here to take some off, but I can just take them off with my fingers. Just look at this. How delicious. A little bit of gravy. Of course, I'm, I don't want to cover up those Dutch's potatoes because I just want to dip the gravy in dip it into the gravy and Raymond has already claimed this roast beef <laughs> sandwich and I'm just going to go right in and taste this little Dutch's potato. Yum! I'm glad that you said that I can have Dutch's potatoes and roast beef sandwich. Absolutely. Oh yeah. You're going to have, you're going to have your share. 
This is a good job. It's a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're serving ours today with some roast beef to make a roast beef sandwich. And I'm going to share with you a link to our prime rib roast if you wanted to make these and, and add that with it. I'm going to have a little taste now. Mm. The creaminess inside, a little crunch on the outside. Of course, the taste, the blend of the Parmesan cheese. Oh my, two thumbs up by myself. Raymond will be soon, he'll give you two thumbs up. I can't wait for you to make these. Mm. And what's so lovely about those little Duchess potatoes, you, the size you make it is up to you. I got it about about a size of a small egg, but you can have a little bit bigger, anywhere from 20 to 40 of those you could make. Great for potluck, taking it out to a staff event, or if you want a special occasion uh, that you're making for your family and friends. These are it. This is the ones that you need to make Duchess potatoes. So if you're looking for the recipe, it's going to be posted in under this video as well. We're going to share links to our prime rib. You can also have, uh, check out our website www.banidaskitchen.com or visit us on our Facebook page. We'll be sharing this re recipe and our up and coming recipes for you to enjoy. Raymond just reminded me that his roast beef sandwich is going cold, so we don't want him to wait any longer, you know. So we thank each and every one of you for stopping by. We know your time is precious, and we thank each and every one of you for spending a little bit of it with us here today. On behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, and from our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. Mm. Kitchen to yours. We need his kitchen.